Okay, guys, you're welcome to my channel. This is Anik and Evans, and this particular video, I'm going to be revealing to you um, the things that I should have known when I started my YouTube channel. You know, as a beginner, there's a lot of mistakes that you're bound to make, and it is through experiences like this that you get to improve. So in this particular video, I want to just stay to the end of the video and you're gonna get a lot of things you're gonna learn a lot of things from what i'm gonna say so it's like i told you in this particular video i'm actually sharing my experience with you um what i should have known that i didn't know then when i started my youtube channel and i hope you will learn from it and equally improve on your own the first thing i actually failed to know when starting my channel was that consistency is paramount yes very very important you know back in those days i would just post like one video and then go on six months strike i mean full six months strike so so it was it was very bad it was very bad i forgot that i didn't know that you have to keep on posting videos even if you're not having views keep posting them at least once in a week if you can produce quality video once in a week there's no how you will not your, your channel will not actually get a lot of good okay so i felt to understand that felt to know that consistency is the key so that's one of the major mistake i i i made and it really even though i stayed like a year and on youtube i wasn't able to get what i was expecting so that's why i'm showing my experience you now so that you also get to know yours better and do it right and the second thing i felt to know was that i need to have had to i needed to have a good video editing tools i mean and video editing skills as well okay so i just all i knew was just crop the video you know post it out and that was not really helping so i felt to know that i felt to understand that i need to have a good video editing skill at least basic ones even i'm not as any basic ones so that you know when you have when you can edit your videos very well it will make people to be more engaging and so i felt to know that when I started. Another thing that I, uh, the third thing that I, I felt to know when starting was that the importance of shorts. Shorts can also help, can really, really help to get channel a lot of views. And I didn't know this when I started. I didn't really know it. I just talked about posting videos and all that. So short really, really helps to get your videos, a lot of views in a very short period of time. Okay, so I believe you, do that, implement that in your own. Make sure that you create as many shorts as possible. It helps you to get more views and create more awareness about your channel. Now, uh, the fourth thing that I also felt to know when starting my channel was that the description box is a very good area for optimizing your videos. I first understand that the description box needs to be structured, well structured. Has to be well structured so i just what i did back then just that i would just post a video and then i would just write how or what the video is all about and after which i would just post publish but i came to realize that you need to involve some things in your description box such as the hashtags such as the um the previous videos that you've that you've made on the channel such as the, the links there such as um keyword research sometimes time stamp you know all those things really helps the youtube algorithm to actually locate your video and show it to people that are searching for it so i felt that was the fourth thing i felt you know uh, the description box is a very good area that helps to optimize um my video okay and the the, the fifth thing that i i felt to know was that I felt to know that I needed to do keyword research. You see, it's not all about just posting content, but posting content that people are willing to watch. Because that, that's the fifth thing that I did, that I felt to know that I need to do keyword research so that when posting content, I will really be able to have an overview. So I want to also implement that in your own. The sixth thing I felt to know was that I'm supposed to watch out for my competitors. You see, why you are posting videos you have to look at what other people are doing so i did not even give a damn about other people's channel other people's video which was after i noticed I, that i started going to check okay what is person what is other person doing what, so one is doing well why is he doing well so i first understand that if you want to be successful as a youtuber 
you need to really know what others are doing check out what they are doing you know take what they are doing and then implement it in yours correct improve it in your own and that will really go a long way to actually skyrocket your channel and give you the results that you need i think the second thing i felt to know was that it's not all about just posting videos there's a mistake i made let me tell let me tell you back then when i started my youtube channel actually you know i just use one day and publish like five videos and you know what after like three months there was nothing like any views and i became discouraged now do you know why i was discouraged it's not because i don't have a voice because i was the only one that was shooting the video i was the only one that was talking about that particular topic on youtube in fact if you if you search that particular topic it is mine that ranks first but why was i not having much views is because i felt to understand that it's not about posting content but posting content that people are really interested in watching so I, that was the mistake i made that is why following train is very good following train topic that people are really after is very good it helps get your channel up there another thing that i felt to know when i started my channel was the importance of thumbnail you see thumbnails can really attract a lot of views and subscribers as well you know i, I literally in those days i would just i would just post a video uh normally i use canva to do my uh, initially i use canva to do my thumbnail then then currently i to create my my, my custom thumbnail now i use adobe express so back then when i started i did not really know the importance of thumbnail so I just i could do you know i made a mistake one of those period during that time when i started i could just go to canva you know edit only the write-up forgot to edit the picture that is there it's very important I'm a, I'm a Nigerian, for example. I'm a black. But you know, when somebody looks at my, my thumbnail and sees a white man, it's kind of like, ah, is it a white man that owns this channel? But when they click, they are seeing a black man. So you see, that really made it look like I did not have a brain or I didn't have a face. So I, I really miss out on that. So if you are creating your thumbnail and you want to put a picture, let it be your own. Don't put it, it, the picture of someone that you don't even know, or because you saw it on Canva, or let it be your own. So I felt to understand this importance. Okay, so that was one of the things that I did not really, I failed to know when I started my own channel. And I believe you implement that in your own and improve. Please, I know that at least you've learned from my mistakes. I shared my experience video. So why not subscribe?